know uh, there are four ways to communicate in dance that communication method is technically called abhinaya the word abhinaya means bring forward a dancer brings forward the uh, emotions or bhava to the audience through her body language and there are three four types of abhinayas first one is ankika ankika abhinaya uh, it is the communication through the gestures uh, facial expression and the physical movements second one is vajika abhinaya uh, it is the communication with the words or through the words in dance this vajika abhinaya is done by the musician uh, who supported the dancer the third one is ahari abhinaya it is a communication with our dress or costume and the stage properties and at last but not least satik abhinaya is the communication through the facial expression in these four types of abhinayas ankikam and satikam are parts of body language and they become uh, they become the uh, strongest role of communication of a dancer as per the western studies language has a structure and it can be divided uh, into basic elements you can see this structural nature in body language too let us now examine how it divided into uh, the basic components as we have mentioned earlier body language has two parts ankikam and satikam first we take ankikam ankika abhinaya is the communication through the gestures facial expression and the physical movements several body parts are the basis of this uh, angi this abhinaya according to natya shastra this body parts are divided into two ankas and upankas there are one more uh, division called pratyanka uh, in other text such as uh, apne darpanam sangeeta ratnagaram balarama bharatam etc but here i stick on to natya shastra and only take uh, ankas and upankas because uh, natya shastra is uh, is a marka text and everyone can follow the uh, terminology uh, and the movements in that text so uh, there are six ankas and six upankas the ankas are head arms chest uh, sides waist and legs and the upankas are eyes eyebrows nose lips cheeks and jaw in addition to this um, bharata prescribe uh, neck stomach thighs and shank uh, into the upankas mm. each anga and upanga has its own different movement patterns for example there are 13 movements for head according to natya shastra 30 chiro bhedas aakambitam kambitam cha dhutam vidhutam eva cha parivahido dwahita mavadutam tathanjitam nikhanjitam paravritta mukshittam cha pyathogatam lolidam cheva vitneya trayodash vidham shiraha also uh, 
that uh, Shiropei does, the 13th and uh, different movements of head. Agam Vidam. Tam Vidam. Juta. Vithuta. Parivahita. Udvahita. Avadhuta. Anjita. Paravrutta. Ukshitta. Athogata. Lolita. Like this, all angas and upangas have their own um, movement patterns and all of them are used in uh, several situations both in Ritta and Abhinaya. For example, uh, take one uh, movement pattern of head, uh, the Parivahidam. Parivahidam is uh, done like this. And it is used. Uh, it is used to show the movement of a bee. And same movement is used uh, in the eighteenth step of Mohiniyatta. I'll show you that step. And take one more example. Take the movement low lithium. Low lithium is this. This movement is uh, used to um, present a fainting, uh, the faint. The same movement is used uh, in the 23rd step of Mohini Atam and the 19th step of, sorry, 29th step of Mohini Atam. And Mohini Atam um, have so many usage to this movement, this low rhythm. And I will show you the 29th step in Mohini Atam, uh, which includes this low rhythm. And let me check one more example from Upankas 2. And I will show, I, I will show you um, the uh, movement of eyes or drishti. 
സമം സാച്യനുവൃത്തെ ചാപ്യാലോകിത വിലോകിതെ പ്രാലോകിത ഉല്ലോകിതെ ചാപ്യവലോകിത മേവജ സോ ദർ ആർ എയ്റ്റ് ദൃഷ്ടീസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു നാട്യശാസ്ത്ര ഓർ എയ്റ്റ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് പാറ്റേൺസ് ടു ദ ദൃഷ്ടി ആൻഡ് ഐ വിൽ ഷോ യു ദാറ്റ് സമ സാജി അനുവൃത്തം ആലോകിതം വിലോകിതം പ്രാലോകിതം ഉല്ലോകിതം അവലോകിതം ആൻഡ് ടേക്ക് വൺ മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദിസ് ദൃഷ്ടി ഭേദം ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ പ്രാലോകിതം പ്രാലോകിതം ഈസ് Used to show fear, like or to do some mischiefs. And this movement is also used in uh, pure nirtha. like this each movement of ankas and upankas is applied in mohiniyattam it is through these movements dancer creates her language